the lord be with you and, and with, with your spirit. spirit a reading from the holy gospel according to matthew glory to you, you o lord. lord jesus said to his disciples be careful not to parade your good deeds before men to attract their notice by doing this you will lose all reward from your father in heaven so when you give alms do not have it trumpeted before you this is what the hypocrites do in the synagogues and in the streets to win men's admiration i tell you solemnly they have had their reward but when you give alms your left hand must not know what your right is doing your alms giving must be secret and your father who sees all that is done in secret will reward you and when you pray do not imitate the hypocrites they love to say their prayers standing up in the synagogues and at the street corners for people to see them i tell you solemnly they have had their reward but when you pray go to your private room and when you have shut your door pray to your father who is in that secret place and your father who sees all that is done in secret will reward you when you fast do not put on a gloomy look as the hypocrites do they pull long faces to let men know they are fasting i tell you solemnly they have had their reward but when you fast put oil on your head and wash your face so that no one will know you are fasting except your father who sees all that is done in secret and your father who sees all that is done in secret will reward you the gospel of the lord praise, praise to you lord, lord jesus christ please be seated my dear brothers and sisters as you all know today the ash wednesday we are fast we as we were fasting the whole day and now it's time for us to do some take a decision on abstinence abstain from certain food items during this 40 days of lenten season many of you may have heard people saying okay it's not about food abstinence from food that is more important we have to abstain from bad habits wrong things addictions smoking drinking and all those kinds of things you have to get rid of during the uh, during the lenten season so my dear brothers and sisters it is true that those are very important things but at the same time abstinence and fasting is also very important thing because avoiding bad habits is not only for the lenten season it should be 365 days not only for 40 days avoiding bad habits avoiding secret sins avoiding certain things which are not good for the spiritual life christian life those things are supposed to be avoided not only 40 days but see 365 days all days there there is no season for avoiding bad habits but at the same time fasting and penance and abstinence it is not something bad eating food is not bad bad thing or having meat or having fish or having ice cream and chocolate and all those kinds of things are not bad things but we are avoiding certain good things these are good things and we are we are taking a decision lord i don't need these pleasures i'm sacrificing it during this lenten season in order to control my body and also to humble myself in front of you that is what we call the lenten observance so there are many people who wrongly misinterpret saying okay lenten observance is nothing to do with the fasting and pr- and avoiding food it is about fall, uh, avoiding bad habits and all those things please do understand the difference between these two so wrong things sinful habits maybe helping poor people maybe reconciling with your enemies these are not seasonal these are supposed to be done every day every day these are supposed to be done 365 days if there is 66 days make make sure that day too so this is something that we need to understand but at the same time there are so many good things pleasurable things we enjoy during the lenten season we are taking a decision to avoid that 
purposely knowingly willingly with full consent so that we can bring our body under our control not being controlled by the body so that is what we call lenten observance praise the lord thank you jesus praise you jesus praise you jesus now the question is there are many people who is to say father the fasting and penances and all those so called um, putting ashes and then putting on sackcloth and then doing fasting it is only old testament terminology and old testament ideology we are not need we don't need to fast in this modern world but truly speaking it is true that in the old testament we see so many people fasting moses fasted for 40 days without even food and drinks for long time and some fasted there are different types of fasting some fasted completely avoiding food and drinks there is a word of god from the book of esther chapter 4 verse 16 book of esther chapter 4 verse 16 and it says esther avoided for three days he did she did not take food or drinks or anything complete abstinence complete fasting so this is she said go gather all the jews to be found in susa and hold a fast on my behalf and neither eat nor drink for 3 days that is a very severe type of fasting and that is esther did it so normally when we do fasting only food solid food can be avoided but the liquid food should be taken at least the water should be taken when we do fasting we read daniel chapter 10 verse 2 daniel chapter 10 there is a daniel fasting there is something called daniel fasting so that may be the best pra- uh, practice for all of us to do during these 40 days of lent and retreat because the daniel fasting is like this at that time i daniel had been mourning for 3 weeks i had eaten no rich food no meat no wine had entered my mouth i had not anointed myself at all for the full 3 weeks so this is called daniel fasting daniel fasting means avoid all the pleasurable food and take only the basic food basic food that is that may not be so pleasing for us but only for our body we take the basic food and sacrifice the pleasure of the food many a time we take food not only for body but also for pleasure that is why sometimes we demand okay for my breakfast i i do need this type of food for my lunch i need this food i for my supper i need this food that means we are not eating for food but we are living for food so we are demanding certain food items that means we are not only eating for the body but also for the pleasure okay it can be an acceptable understandable but at the same time during the lenten season we may eat for our body but we will sacrifice the pleasure attached to it we will sacrifice by doing so we are not losing anything but we are getting grace we are controlling our body our body will be able to will be under our control the spiritual fathers used to say those who are not able to control their body in the food items will not be able to control their body in the sexuality the spiritual fathers is to say you cannot if you can't control your body for food in the food area food items then you cannot control your body for sexuality and it will go out of our control so this is something that we need to be very careful that is why the church encourages all the faithful to control their body especially in the food items so that in your holiness you will be able to practice you will be able to practice your holiness praise the lord thank you jesus and we know from jesus word of god gospel of luke chapter 5 verse 34 onwards we read like this gospel of luke chapter 5 verse 34 jesus said to them you cannot make wedding guests fast while the bridegroom is with them can you and verse 35 we read like this the days will come when the bridegroom will be taken away from them then they will fast in those days 
the lord is already foreseeing this the lord said one day i will be taken away the bridegroom means jesus himself when one day i will be taken away when on that day they will fast they will fast for example suppose you are have there is a celebration going on in your friend's house maybe you visited your friend's house and there is a celebration going on but unfortunately suppose you must have suppose if someone has died in your family mother father brother sister maybe those days and you happen to visit your friend's house after the morning maybe during the days of morning of the death of your beloved one but there is a delicious food in front of you but let me tell you since you are mourning because of the death of your beloved one you will not be interested in re- uh, eating those food you won't be interested in eating the food and you are you are this was not important for at all for example if some suddenly yeah uh, maybe you are having a delicious food every day suddenly you happen to hear a very tragic message suppose you got as got an information about someone in your family is very seriously sick that day you may not feel like eating you will sacrifice your bo- body needs because something painful is there inside of you some painful message has come to you then you may sacrifice that is why jesus said one day they will miss me and that day they will fast during this 40 days of lent we need to do some fasting maybe abstinence because we are also missing jesus many a time because of our sinful behavior we need to come out of this sinful behavior and get attached to jesus therefore we need to do some fastings i remember when i was very small when i am angry with my father mother especially when they don't give certain things which i ask for and they say no when they say no in order to get some get those things i say today i am not eating i declare fasting and if they don't give the next day one more day fasting if they don't still give then i will have to surrender because i like food so uh, this this is some tendency that we all have when we in order to get something we are ready to do some sacrifices in our body so it's a kind of is a sign of controlling someone else by controlling our body my dear brothers and sisters knowingly or unknowingly we are developing this idea you can control somebody by controlling our own body we can control you know in india some years ago when in the, during the during when britain was controlling the uh, the whole india mahatma gandhi the father of the nation he worked hard for the independence of india not by fighting with the weapons but by fasting he is the one who showed a very good role model in front of the whole world by fasting he he defeated a nation by fasting not by weapons not by overcoming any country not by sending missiles into another country but by fasting my dear brothers and sisters we think fasting is how it is has got the effect it has ter- it has powerful effect and mahatma gandhi fasted maybe maybe sometimes for many days and sometimes he de- declared until death fasting and then the whole country was influenced by because of this fasting and then the india got independence everyone knows this fact that because of the fasting power of mahatma gandhi india got independence so my dear brothers and sisters even today i have seen in, in india and also in many countries in south africa when in order, when they protect you know protest against the governments the leaders of opposition parties they declare fasting public fasting even today it is practiced so today when we in spiritually speaking these kinds of fasting will help you to control not only your body but to chase out evil spirit evil spirit will have no authority and power on you when you do fasting that is why bible says jesus said when you fast we read like this gospel of matthew chapter 16 sorry chapter 6 verse 16 we read like this chapter 6 verse 16 
and whenever you fast do not look dismissal like the hypocrites for they disfigure their faces so as to show others that they are fasting truly i tell you they have received their reward jesus says whenever you fast what does it mean because it is taken for granted that you all fast jesus did not say in case if you are fasting jesus did not say in case if you are fasting do like this no but jesus said whenever you fast that means fasting is part of your life fasting is part of your time table fasting is part of christian time table and jesus says whenever you fast because i know that you are going to fast and whenever you fast do like this that means fasting is part of the christian life this is not a, it is not an option it is part of our time table as a christian therefore my dear, that is why the church always encourages us to do fasting on fasting on the day of fridays fridays we should avoid meat that is one abstinence good friday we have to do fasting that is compulsory and today we were supposed to be observing fasting because we are praying for russia and ukraine so these are the fasting days and abstinence days which we should be practicing my dear brothers and sisters praise the lord so and when you do fasting some people they do fasting they say today is fasting day so i am going to take rest and they they declare fasting day and from morning to evening they go and sleep that kind of fasting will not bring any benefits if you are fasting make sure not to publicize it in the facebook and whatsapp and in many other areas and try to get sympathy of the people and make sure not to waste that time if you are fasting at time maybe during the afternoon lunch you are fasting and you have extra time maybe if suppose if you are spending half an hour every day for lunch and that day you have no lunch therefore half an hour is free and that time should be spent for god that time should be spent for in the presence of god that time should be spent in something constructive something useful for you and for your community otherwise if you go and waste a time by sleeping and taking rest the fasting becomes useless meaningless so when you do something good don't compensate with something evil but instead at use that time and energy for doing something more good praise the lord hallelujah thank you jesus praise you jesus so when we do fasting we should have right heart for example some people do fasting in abstinence because their stomach is becoming big and then uh, their cholesterol is increasing so they think okay i have to do something otherwise i will fall into sick i have to become slim beauty or i should have the six pack but now it is not according to my plan and therefore they do fasting they do control their food they control their body and they say i'm in a fasting day i'm observing lent those are not acceptable as an observance of lent those are called dieting the dieting is not equal to lent and observance so if you are doing dieting very good but apart from that you have to do some other sacrifices for lent and observance don't substitute the lent and observance with the dieting process because then there is no meaning there is no blessing for that we are doing it of course you are protecting your body but this doesn't have any spiritual consequence but spiritual consequence comes when you have a higher aim not only for your six pack not also for your muscle power but also for spiritual power and if you are doing some controlling of your body and your bodily passions for the spiritual power then it is meaningful so this is very important my dear brothers and sisters we read like this isaiah 58 was two onwards we read like this isaiah 58 was two onwards we read the word of god says as yet day after day they seek me and delight to know my ways as if they were a nation that practiced righteousness and did not forsake the ordinance of their god they ask of me righteous judgments they delight to draw near to god they want to come closer to god 
so in order to come closer to god they were ready to do fasting but they are fasting as something wrong there is something wrong in their fasting because after fasting god is not listening to their prayer after fasting god is not blessing them and then they complained they said why do we fast but you do not see why humble ourselves but you do not notice look you serve your own interest on your fast day and oppress all your workers the lord says you are serving your own interest some people are fasting for their six pack they are serving their own interest some people are doing abstinence and fasting because they want to maintain their beauty and shape of their body that is their own interest that is why god says look you serve your own interest on your fast day and you continue oppressing people and workers and other people you are continuing your evil works therefore this fasting has got no meaning it is it can be called dieting the lord says such kinds of fasting and practices cannot be acceptable and we read verse for look you fast only to quarrel and to fight to strike with a wicked fist such fasting as you do today will not make your voice heard in on high some people they do fasting from morning they do fasting abstain from um, milk and sugar and maybe sometimes meat and fish and other things but at the same time they shout at their husband they shout at their wife they shout at their children they keep anger unforgiveness the lord says this is a waste your fasting has no support spiritual you are fasting for spiritual power but you are committing sin and you are losing your spirit the lord says when you do fasting make sure not only your body should be under control your spirit and emotion also should be under control otherwise fasting has got no meaning there are many people you know some people on the day of fasting on where ash wednesday the previous day before ash wednesday they eat maximum meat and other things and say oh 40 days i'm not going to take anything so they compensate 40 days in one day so and then after 40 days on the easter day they will another compensation for whatever that we have not eaten for 40 days we will manage to compensate with one day and that is easter day the lord says such kinds of fasting will have no effect in our family in our personal life such fasting as you do today will not make your voice heard on high what does it mean if you do a fo- proper fasting your prayer will be heard on high a proper fasting has the power to take your prayer reach heaven that is why we read in the word of god we read gospel of matthew chapter 6 verse 18 Gospel of Matthew chapter 6 verse 18 we read like this So that your fasting may be seen not by others but by your father who is in secret and your father who sees in secret will reward you If you do fasting sincerely secretly with sincere heart with right intention your father will secretly who sees in secret will reward you fasting has got the power to get the reward from heaven if you do fasting sincerely at sincere committed fasting this will have reward somebody who wants to do fasting because you want to have a slim beauty then at the end you will become a slim beauty that is your reward because that was your intention therefore you may not get a reward from heaven therefore my dear brothers and sisters we should have the right intention when we do fasting that is why I continue reading isaiah chapter 58 was for we read like this look you fast only to quarrel and fight and to strike with a wicked fist such fasting as you do today will not make your voice heard on high some people fast in the afternoon and when they come in the evening they want some de- they have some demands i should have this food that food this food and if that food is not ready they get angry with the life partner they get angry with the other person maybe servants such kinds and some people fast only to increase the problem 
and they do just because they are fast they don't bring any peace in the family some people when they do fasting that day they will be very hot tempered getting angry fast for everything getting irritated because they are fasting and some people they avoid their responsibilities for example if your mother tell you go and buy something from the shop then he the child says the son says i am fasting today i can't go out such kinds of fasting will have no effect because you are not doing your duty the responsibility you are trying to get excuse just because you are doing fasting it is better not to do fasting in such situations so my dear brothers and sisters what i'm trying to say is this is very important if you are doing fasting if you do fasting do it sincerely properly with right intention good intention you will receive reward from heaven and if you continue reading this word of god verse 5 in such the fast that i chose a day to humble oneself fasting should be to humble oneself when you do fasting you feel weak body becomes weak and that is when you realize without food i cannot do even stand without food i cannot stand without food i cannot survive then i will start thanking god god give us our daily bread we will be so happy to pray and we will start depending on god we will humble ourselves and say i'm nothing unless i get food every day so we realize who we are when we do fasting is it to bow down the head like a bulrush or and to lie in sackcloth and ashes will you call this a fast a day acceptable to the lord verse 6 is not this the fast that i chose to loose the bonds of injustice to undo the thongs of the during the fasting days when you do abstinence and fasting make sure you also do holy things don't ever encourage any injustice don't be a yoke for others don't oppress the people but break every yoke and verse 7 we read like this verse 7 is it not to share your bread with the hungry some people when you avoid a lunch you are saving some money this money should not be used for something bl- pleasurable but use it for alms giving this money should be given for poor people for homeless to give food for others and that is when your fasting becomes meaningful because you are abstaining from food and you are saving some money and this money should be given to the poor people at least one meal for a poor person when you see the naked to cover them and not to hide yourself from your own kin your own family members there are so many of your own family members who have nothing to eat or nothing to have nothing to cover it is our responsibility by fasting we save money and we help them by doing so our fasting becomes meaningful praise the lord and we when you do fasting you get some extra time why don't you call that time your mother your father who is living alone make a phone call and console them comfort them then your fasting becomes meaningful more powerful and then there is a reward from heaven for sure was we read 8 was 8 then your light shall break forth like that if you do a proper fasting there will be light light shall break forth like the dawn and your healing shall spring up there will be light in your family brightness in your family happiness in your family second there will be healing in your body healing in your body third your vindicator shall go before you your lord will be always with you fourth the glory of the lord shall be your rear guard glory of the lord will be in your family fourth one fifth one let's read verse 9 then you shall call and the lord will answer your prayers will be answered your prayers will be answered that is fifth one and you, when you cry for help the lord will say i am here i am the lord will help you verse 10 we read like this if you offer your food to the hungry and satisfy the needs of the afflicted then your light shall rise in the darkness darkness will be taken away your gloom be like the noon day verse 11 the lord will guide you continuously if you do fasting and penances and abstinence properly the lord will guide you continually and god will satisfy your needs 
when you are really in need of emergency needs the lord will satisfy you and make your bones strong your body will be strong you shall be like a watered garden like a spring of water whose waters never fail see so many blessings is promised so many blessings are promised for those who do fasting properly my dear brothers and sisters so these are the most important thing i would like to share with you on this hash wednesday as we are starting this penance day, 40 days of lenten season and observance and also lenten retreat please do take these fasting days and penance days and abstinence days seriously praise the lord